Hi developers, in this video I'll walk you through the process of adding Firebase to your application for user registration. This is going to be a React Native application using Expo. So let's get right into the first step and that will be to install Firebase to your project. And for that we'll go to the projects directory and run npx expo install Firebase. This will install all the Firebase files to your project and let us import libraries from Firebase which we'll use for user authorization later. So after installing Firebase to my project, I want to initialize Firebase in my application. But for that, I first need to go to the console and start a project. So then I can add an app to that project so I can initialize it in my application. And for that, I'll go to the Firebase console by logging into console.firebase.com. I'll go to add a project. And then I'll go through a set of questions here for starting my project. And I'll just call my project, my new project. I'll continue. Then I'll continue through this process and I'll do the default account for Firebase here. Now my project will be created. And once my project is created, then I can move on through the process of adding an app to this Firebase project. Okay, now my project is created. And what I wanna do here is create an app for my project so I can initialize that app in my code, in my React Native code. So for our React Native and Expo application, we'll be adding a web project. So if you go here, you see that you can get started by adding a Firebase app. Um, here we have an iOS version, an Android, app or a web app for our react native project we'll be adding a web application so i'll just go here and call my web app my new app i don't need firebase hosting and i'll just register my app and once my app is registered i'll get the uh, firebase sdk and i'll get the instructions on how to install firebase which we already did but most importantly we'll get the right keys to configure in our React Native application. So I'll copy this and then I'll go to my code to then configure Firebase from there. All right, so now that I have the keys for my Firebase configuration, I wanna go back to my React Native application and configure Firebase from there. And for that, I'll have to add a new file, call it Firebase config.js and i'll be passing my keys i got the keys i got from the firebase console and what i'll do here is to remove a few of the things that i don't need clean this up a little bit but for sure i do want to export this app here this const app equals initialize app i'll remove this for now i don't need to use this now and then i'll remove other comments here that we won't be needing at the moment and this would be enough for my Firebase configuration file. Now the next step is to use this configuration in my application. Now that my keys are here, I'll just have to go to my application here. I already have an application going with um, an app.js file. Inside that app.js file, I have a sign up form component and I'm passing a handle sign up function that will be invoked whenever the user signs up for my application or signs up in that registration page. All right, so in order to use Firebase in my application, I'll need to import the app into my application. And for that, I'll import app from Firebase config and also import two main functions that I need from Firebase. One is get off function and the other one is create user with email and password. That's the Th those are the two functions I'll, I'll use for the user registration for now. So this is when the user fills out the form to register for my application. I'll be invoking get off and create user with email and password within that function. So let's take a look at what the function will look like. All right, here's my handle signup function that I'll be invoking from the signup form component. I'll be passing the user email and password to then create a registration that will be sent to Firebase. And for that, I'll have to initialize a variable. I'll call it auth. And with that, I'll 
get the auth by passing my application configuration, the one we just set up in the Firebase config file, and it's imported here at the top. So I'll call get auth, pass my application. With that, I'll be initializing auth with my application, and next step is to invoke the create user with email and password. So I can then pass the auth um, by getting the auth from Firebase and also pass the email and password that I'll, that I'll be using for user registration. And for that, we'll have this function here, create user with email and password. We'll be passing those three parameters, auth, email, and password. Then if everything is successful and we are able to sign up the user, we'll just be printing the user information or the, the user that just signed up, we'll be printing it in the uh, console if there is any errors, we'll catch those errors and we'll be also printing that in the console. Before we invoke that create user with email and password, we have to make sure that the authentication is set in our application. Um, there's many ways that you can get to the authentication portion of Firebase in the Firebase console. One is going to authentication right here if it, if it shows up when you log in. Another one is to go to build and click on authentication. And once you get to authentication, you have to manage or you have to set up the authentication you want for your application. In this case, we'll do, we click on get started and select email and password. We'll enable email and password, um, email link, and we'll save that configuration. Now that our app is enabled with email and password, then we'll be able to invoke create user with email and password from our application. All right, so now that our application and our Firebase configuration is enabled for email and password authentication, we can then register our user by invoking that create user with email and password function. And this here, this view is a very simple registration form. Uh, it, it only has two values here. I can make it more complex by asking for more information about the user, but to make it simple and just to test the Firebase functionality, I just added an email, text field, and a password text field. So when we click on submit, we'll be invoking that handle sign up function and we'll be invoking that create user with email and password function in our Firebase app. And here it is, we got the user registration. So on success, we are printing in the console, the user registration or the user object information with some tokens. And we'll be able to see the email that was submitted there with the successful call. But if we go back to our Firebase app, go to project overview here, we got our app. We will be able to see our new user uh, register in our console here. So we got the email, we got some user IDs, and we got the date it was signed up. Or and let's say I want to register the same user again. Let's say I want to do test uh, test.com with the password. Let's clean this up here to see what would happen when we submit the same user email we'll get an error from Firebase saying that the email already is in use and we can catch these errors and use them to handle what the user will see in our application. And that's all we have for today. I hope you learned something new here and this was useful and easy to follow. Um, we just created a new app, created a Firebase project, added a Firebase app to it, then added the authentication to make sure that we could authenticate users using email and password, and then went to our application to add our Firebase configuration so we are able to initialize our app from React Native, and then use the Firebase functions to register our user and be able to see it in the Firebase console. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.